What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got our first team of the year midfielder review and it is going to be the man himself, Kimmich. The guy that is going for around 2.8 million coins at this current moment. Now this guy, he looks insane. He really, really does. He looks like one of those players that, yeah, he might not have an interception reach. Yeah, he might not have a tackle reach, but he's going to be one of those players that is going to go in for tackles and he's going to go in very aggressively. He's going to go in very fast and he's most likely going to come out of the ball. I feel like Kimmich is going to remind me of that team of the year N'Golo Kante. I'm not sure if it was last year. I don't, I'm pretty sure it wasn't last year. I think it was two years ago. N'Golo Kante's team of the year card. He was extremely small, but he was an outstanding aggressive CDM. And that's what I feel like Kimmich is most likely going to be. Now, when it comes down to comparing this card to his latest in form, we are looking at a plus 10 to pace, a plus 9 to shooting, a plus 6 to passing, a plus 6 to dribbling, a plus 9 to defending, and a plus 8 to physicals as well. 5 foot 9, high medium work rates, 3 star skill moves with a 4 star weak foot. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, anchor. And you might be questioning, why have you gone ahead and put an anchor chem style on this card? Well, the reason I felt like an anchor is most likely going to be better than a shadow chem style is because of that strength. That strength for especially his height is going to be such a big thing. That plus 10 strength, you are going to notice the difference. You really are. So me sacrificing that plus 10 onto the sprint speed, I feel like it's not going to make the biggest of difference and I would rather off just give him the strength that he actually needs. So 97 acceleration with the 85 sprint speed for a 5 foot 9 player with 99 aggression, I do believe is going to be enough. Shooting ability, I was kind of surprised when looking at the shooting, 92 shot power with 99 long shots. You best believe I'm going to try to give this guy a cheeky long shot. Now, if it fails, it fails. If I don't get into the occasion, then it's obviously a tough one to see. He has got 94 attacking positioning with the 80 finishing as well. Now, the passing ability looks out of this world. 95 vision, 99 crossing, 97 short passing, 97 long passing with the 96 curve as well. His dribbling ability looks like one of those players that's just going to feel extremely out on the ball, especially him being 5 foot 9. He has got 94 agility, 94 balance, 98 reactions, 95 ball control, 93 dribbling with a 95 composure as well. Defending, 5, 5, no, is it 5? Sorry, 4. 4 out of the 5, 99. My god, 99 interceptions, 99 defense awareness, 99 standing tackling with a 99 slide tackling as well. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. And then you go over to the physicals and then you see more 99s. 99 jumping, 99 stamina, 99 aggression with the 94 strength as well. Now, I'm not actually on my account. I'm on one of the viewers account, which is always going to be helpful to see because on my main account, you know how it is. I do all these SBCs possible. I try to buy as many players for the play reviews as possible and you're eventually going to lose a lot of tax and a lot of coins, right? So for these team of the years, I have obviously used a lot of viewers accounts but usually after team of the year it goes back to normal i'm going to be straight back onto my account but i've linked them up today with klosterman and davis i will be playing kimmich in a 4-4-2 in that center mid position just to see if i can actually get him in a shooting opportunity but i will try him in his natural position as well in a 4-2-3-1 so let's test out this player gonna go in for that tackle well played let's see how he actually feels on the ball little oh my god look at that Look how precise he is with those little touches when he was turning there. That's incredible. Neymar, over to Zero, over to Kimmich. Gonna go for a little cheeky rainbow flick. Even though I know he's got three-star skill moves, it's still one of those ones where you can obviously still do it. You seen this accelerations, by the way, round the corners. Oh my God, look at this. Bridget, give it to him again. Go for that, go for that. Those little touches, man. Those little touches are so good. Davis, Klosterman, to Kimmich. Nice touch, really good touch. I'm going to play that ball. I should have kind of played that a little bit earlier. Let's see if I can play it again. Going to go straight down to the middle. Well played. Bruno Fernandes on that little turn. Give it to Neymar. I believe he's actually onside. Yeah, he is onside. I don't know why Wambazaka was that deep. To Bruno Fernandes. I told Kimmich to make a run earlier, so he's still up here. I'm going to go for that finesse shot. It was a pretty good shot, let's all be fair. But Courtois, in long shots, hmm, he's kind of good at saving him. You can actually see his transition speed. Like, look how fast he is going left and right. You can just go out to someone and then try to go back into your position fairly easily. Okay, this guy's going to run in a straight line. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, he's just going to pass it away. He knows I'm controlling Kimmich right now, and he knows it's the team of the year version. So this guy has been staying away from Kimmich for, like, the whole, whole game. Going to go back into the middle. 
I'm gonna try and press him. Go back into it. Look how fast he is. My God. Timo, is he going to most likely turn? Look how fast he is going into those tackles as well, boys. I'm telling you. He's tackling ability. He's defensive ability. Just by looking at him running around like this is insane. Fake shot. Going to go for that X ball. All the way to the side. Well played. Really good pass. This time, going to do it the other way. LBY all the way to the other side. Look at these passes, man. That's what you expect, though. He's got that long passing to his game. So you're going to expect those kind of passes to work. To Kimmich, I really do want to get this long shot. Hold up a second. Gonna try to get this angle. Try and get the angle still. Trying to fake out my opponent a little bit. Come on, man. The thing is, right, with Kimmich in that CDM role, he goes straight back into his position every time. Like, he barely goes up. Like, look at him right now. He's just giving me that passing option in that CDM position. Still staying there. Even if I pass it through the middle, he's still gonna stick into that position. Kimmich, nice interception. Well played. No, I tried to go for a ball roll and it flicked it. Nah, you can't. Come on now. Respect. Respect team of the year, Kimmich. You can't be doing that against him. Sid off to Kimmich. Once again, LBY all the way to the other side. My God, those passes are going to be so, so overpowered with these kind of midfielders. No turn there. Nice. Well played. Really good. I'm going to be honest. I didn't actually go in for a tackle there. Like, I thought he was just going to hold him up a little bit. Like, I thought I was just sitting there, you know, right next to him. I actually thought he was going to turn. But, hey, if Kimmich wants to go in automatically, you know, I'm going to take that. Because I know for a fact, if he goes in by himself, he's most likely going to come out of the ball. Play that ball. Nice. Well played. I want to see his movement. Oh, my God. Look at his movement. Double way. No, he was actually making that movement into that middle there. That's kind of surprising because I'm still playing him in that CDM position and I was expecting him to kind of come back a little bit. But hey, if he moves into the middle, especially with his kind of finishing ability, if I just collect that ball there, it could be a goal. Kimmich, first time through ball all the way to the top. To do that first time, my God, that's impressive. And that usually first time, by the way, just goes out of play. Like it just goes for a goal kick. The fact that he actually hit it perfectly onto the player. Kimmich, this is a far, far dip. It looked like he was promising. I personally thought he was going to go top bins, but once again, it's Courtois and goal. It's going to be hard to obviously score a long shot against a goalkeeper that tall. See it off. Over to Bruno. Over to Kimmich. I told him to make a run earlier, so that is why he is so high up on the pitch right now. He's going to make that run. He's playing in a 4-4-2 right now in that centre mid position, and he is playing quite aggressive, obviously. He's still sticking in that position. Run forward. Ball roll. Oh, one dribbling. Nice. Going to go for that power shot. I was never expecting that to go in. Through that middle. Can I go for an interception? He doesn't really lock on and he misses out on that one. He's most likely going to turn. Can I put in a tackle? I can put in a tackle. There is going to be some occasions, obviously, that he does miss out on the interception. But that is because of his height and that is because of that interception reach. But trust me, his recovery time is insane. Going to try press. Oh, okay. He's the guy's literally going to pass it straight to me. Pretty good interception. Well played, Kimmich. Give it back to him. Decent turn, but I expected it to kind of go a bit closer to him. Go into the space. Come on, man. I'm trying to create this angle so badly. No, and then he's going to get bodied right there. That's the thing, right? The creating the angle with obviously a three-star skiller is always going to be a little bit of a problem. It's just an occasion where you kind of have to pass it around until you get the opportunity to actually do it. You can't be really one of those people that actually force the long shot because most likely someone is just going to come in and block you or someone is just going to come in and tackle you. Going to press it a little bit. Going to try to cut these lanes. I reckon he's going to try to pass through the middle. He is going to pass through the middle. The interception was missed. Gonna try press him again. Most likely gonna pass back to Neymar. I'm telling you, man, he's such an aggressive CDM or centre mid. You can't be sitting back with him because, yeah, it could work and it, you know, could not work. But like, it's so much more consistent if you just run straight out to the opponent. But make sure you know when to run out because if you're just sitting there like, okay, Orzio tells me to run out and I'm just gonna literally sprint out my CDMs. Obviously, that's not gonna be great because you're gonna leave gaps in behind. You just have to know when to actually sprint out of him. And as soon as, as soon as you know when to, it's GG. You're gonna get that tackle. Every time. Kleiber. Give it to Kimmich through the middle. Ball roll. Nice turn. I'm going to go for the finesse shot. Oh, come on. If he actually had the finesse shot trait, I, I reckon it would have gone in like twice already. But because he hasn't got that shooting trait, which is such a big thing this year, finesse shots are always going to be inconsistent with him. He definitely does remind me, by the way, of like a team of the year in Golo Kante, where he was so fast. He was so aggressive when going in for tackles, and his transition speed was absolutely insane. And obviously, in Golo Kante, that version was good at going backwards, and he was amazing at going forward. Look at the shielding, by the way. 
Oh my god, look at the shielding. Come on, Ingolo, keep trying, mate. Keep trying, keep trying. Referee, how is that not foul? Nice tackle. Can I go through with it? No, that's super lucky. No turn, though. No turn. Oh, I've gone round him and I didn't even get him to get the ball. Surely he's going to go through the middle at some stage. There you go. Perfect interception. Kimmich. He's probably going to try to pass through the middle. I'm going to miss out on that interception. He's probably going to try to pass back as well. That interception needs to be intercepted, boys. That ball right there, I'm telling you, man. Like a six foot player, a five foot 11 player is most likely going to get that. And that is like the biggest problem with Kimmich right now. The fact that he's missing those like little through balls or little passes time to time. I'm going to try to hit this up. I want to see if... Oh my God, please get onto it. No, that's Keane, by the way. That's Moise Keane. If there's someone else, trust me, he's getting on the end of that. But look at those kind of passes. Those passes in the, like, the CDM or sentiment position is so, so useful because you could come, like, you're getting pressured, right? And all you need to do is do that kind of pass and you're out. You're out of the pressure completely. So I usually answer this question, is Kimmich more of a, like a CDM that, you know, you have to be very aggressive with or is he one of those CDMs that you have to be a bit more passive with? Where you wait for the ball, you wait for the perfect moment to go in for a tackle or like an interception it's clear of day he's a very very aggressive cdm where you want to try to get into your opponent's space instantly you need to make sure you are right next to your opponent every single time because that guy is gonna pressure your opponent and trust me he is most likely gonna come out with a ball because your opponent's not gonna know what to do with a person that can do stuff like this oh come on that would even perfect neymar to kimmich oh one dribbling nice Gonna go for that power shot. There you go. There's our finish we have been waiting for. It took its time. It took its time. We've had so many long shots. We've had, I believe it was like one other shot inside the box, but we eventually get the goal we wanted. So it is time to review him. Three games played, one goal scored of the zero assist as well. Bear in mind, the reason he got zero assist is because I wasn't really trying to get him assist, you know? We all know for a fact, if he, this guy wanted an assist, he could have got one very easily because of how good his passing ability really was. I was focusing more on stuff like tackling ability, interceptions, transition speed, long shots, dribbling with the ball and stuff like that. I wasn't really focusing on, you know, like passing straight through to someone and trying to get those goals. But yeah, if he wanted an assist, he could have easily, easily got one. Now, do I believe this card is worth 2.8 million coins? Yes. Do I believe he'll drop in the next few days? Yes. It's a card that's going to be out for another two days. You can expect a lot of people to obviously end up packing them, especially with how many lightning rounds there are actually out. So you probably expect this card to drop to like 2.4 mil. It will obviously eventually get out of packs, but then it will come back into packs when the full team of the year is actually in packs. Now, when it comes down to the pace, I'm going to give his pace, I would say a 9.5 to a 9.6 out of 10. His transition speed is insane. Insane. But I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say he's the fastest player I've used because he's not. Shooting ability. We had a decent amount of long shots. We really did. We also had a few shots inside the box as well. But the long shots were kind of questionable, especially without the finesse shot trait. And we all know how power shots are outside the box. They don't really go in, especially against a good keeper like Allison or Courtois. So for shooting, I'll give him like an 8.3 out of 10. Passing ability, I have to say 10 out of 10. I really do. The guy's passing was insane, especially with both feet as well. The curve that you get on that pass, oh my god. Dribbling ability, he felt really nice on the ball. He really did. But I'm not going to sit here and say that he's, you know, deserves a 10 out of 10 because I don't feel like I don't feel like he does because of those skill moves. For me personally, I feel like implementing skill moves into dribbling makes so much sense because you can create so much more angles. If this guy had four star skill moves, I could have gone for like a lack of kettle or like a lack of kettle cancel into that finesse shot, aka into that long shot. And we could have actually ended up getting a long shot into the back of the net. So for dribbling, I'm going to give him, I would say like a 9.6 out of 10. Defending. Interceptions was a a little bit questionable if he wasn't like into the lane he's obviously not going to be intercepting it because of his because of his reach like he's not really a player that stretches out his foot to grab a ball like you would see of like a, a Zazoko or like a Zakaria you know so for defending I'm going to give him I would say another 9.6 to a 9.7 out of 10 physicals really nice like really really nice his aggression was one of the best I've actually seen in this game his strength was also really good his stamina was also really good I didn't see too much of the jumping which is obviously understandable saying that he is a five for nine player i doubt you're going to get a lot of jumping opportunities but for physicals i'll give him like a 
I'll give him like a 9.4, 9.5 out of 10 as well. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give this card, I would say a 9.5 to a 9.6 out of 10. You might be questioning a little bit saying, how are you not going to give Kimmich a 10 out of 10? For me personally... I feel like that interception reach is going to be a little bit of a problem for a lot of people. You are going to notice the ball go past this guy a fair amount of times. But the thing is with Kimmich is that recovery time is something you are going to have to look at. Where if he lose, if he like misses out on the ball in a certain situa situation, just run back with him. His pace is going to be insane to get back into that position. And you're just going to go for another tackle and you're eventually going to get the ball. But for me, I can't really give this card a 10 out of 10. I know a lot of people are probably going to be annoyed about that, but I'm obviously going to give you guys my honest opinion but well, i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace